Hi, we're here at the Global Dressage Festival on this ominous day in March, and I am here with the wonderful Robert Dover. Robert, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing fine, and I'm certainly hoping that everybody and their horses are all safe and well, and uh, yeah, it's been quite a tumultuous time for everyone, whether they're with horses or not, but uh, I'm gratified to see that the quality of the equestrian sport in America is still looking very bright, really optimistic. And World Cup, we lost our World Cup this year so far. What do you think? Again, it's very sad. It was predictable when, when the president told us that he was going to ban any incoming flights from Europe because uh, a month is a long time and it would have made it impossible for grooms and horses to arrive on time for an event like that. But that aside, you mentioned the quality of the horses. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing with your own. I know you're doing some riding. Yeah, I'm riding about four to five horses a day right now. I have two um, in training over at Odette Shimoni's barn, and I have um, a couple of others that are from other people that I'm helping them with as well in training the horses. So yeah, I'm riding a lot. I'm having a good time. Every time things happen within the sport where I start having this sort of welling up inside myself because that chef to keep coaching thing comes really up to me and you. then it gets right about to here and then I think not my job anymore and then it goes right back down and I think thank goodness. But I'm here always rooting on Deb and, and the team riders and certainly they have all stepped it up recently and looked like a medal contending team. I, I agree. I, I think as an amateur who's followed the sport and participated in the sport in all these years, I look out here and I look at my young horse and I think, gosh, will he be good enough? You know, because the quality is so high at yeah. every level, even our amateur CDI level is stepping up. Yes. Um, what do you hope for the future for our sport and for yourself? Well, I hope that obviously this coronavirus goes away in time that the uh, nations are able to pull it together and qualify teams for the Olympics. I hope that the Olympics goes on. Uh, right now we haven't heard one way or the other. I think the issue at this point is not the readiness of Japan to hold the Olympics. It's more whether the qualification of all the different sports can happen if the competitions where they would qualify are canceled one by one. How, how those nations will deal with diving, swimming, archery, uh, every other sport within the Olympic family is similar to how we would have to deal with it. And so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I think that um, regardless, the quality of the American team uh, and squad is looking very strong. So were we to have an Olympics tomorrow, we have great horses and riders at the top that would no doubt go in and contend for a medal. I think that's pretty great hearing from Robert. We don't know what the future holds for us, but we know that the quality of our horses is way up there. And six times you went to the Olympics? Six times with to, to the Olympics as a rider, as a, as a competitor, and then another couple of times as coach, once for Canada and once to the Olympics 2016 with our great team that won a bronze medal in, uh, in Rio. So it's pretty obvious that we have the expert of experts. None of us know what the future holds, but it still looks pretty bright for U.S. dressage, would you say? 100%. We'll all come through this, all of us together. We'll have to hunker down for a while, but we'll all come through this and look back at it as a time that was sort of sad for all the people everywhere in the world. But uh, yeah, we'll all come through it because that's what we do as a country and as a nation. And as horse people. As horse people, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robert. What sure a pleasure. Thing. Nice to see you.